Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, my beautiful client Samantha has come in and we've done all our prep work. If you want to know how I prep the nails, I will leave a video in the description box so that you can go ahead and check that out because I've already done a dedicated video to prep work. So now I'm just going to go ahead on all of her fingers and create my clear base because I didn't really know what I was doing. Again, it was just kind of going with the flow. So I always try and make this no thicker, you know, like really thin um, and also go down onto that cuticle area, but also keeping it very thin and then just really blending it into that natural nail. And then I'm going to come in with CJP and more. Just tidy up that cuticle area because we're going to do a marble. I'll then come in with coconut milk, made in sweet from Glam and Glitz, clear, and then just carry on down the nail in this way to create like that stripy marble look. When doing this technique, I'll just use the smallest of beads and actually a little bit wetter as well. And just as you can see, just blend them up and play it by eye and try and make it appeal into the eye. Tiny, tiny little beads and alternating the colours, alternating <laughs> the colours. I'm happy with that marble I will then move on to the next nail and leave that to set before we go ahead and encapsulate that nail so on this ring finger I'm using a glitter that is from Chinti's glitzy glitters and it is called it's called Fifi's mix and it's like a pink iridescent um, multi mix it's got some chunky some fine and some discs in there as well so a little bit of everything and I'm just using small beads of crystal glass to pick up that glitter and really nudge it around on the nail to make sure it's nice and flat and in place On the middle finger here, I'm coming in and creating a small line. So I'm taking a more and I'm placing quite a large big back block. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Take two. I'm placing a large bead backwards on the nail plate. I'll then blend that down into the cuticle area and then I will just tidy up those sides. I want this consistent all the way around. You want your thickness of that wall to be consistent all the way around. And then we were going for a more of a V-shaped smile line today rather than the classic round one. So I'm just tidying that up as neat as possible, making sure that my apex is already in place because I will not be capping this nail. And then I'll leave that to set so we can come back and file that nice and crisp. And then I'm coming in with Glam and Glitz Made in Sweet on the index finger. And I'm just placing a bead of that and then just wiping it down the nail. I still haven't got to grips with working with Glam and Glitz. You know, like sometimes it's okay, sometimes they're not. Some of the colours are crap. Some of the, they're very inconsistent. And that's what I hate is just the inconsistency of the products. Like you never know if you're going to get good ones. You never know if you're going to get bad ones. This one is a beautiful pink and my clients are seeming to love it. But I do tend to try and steer away from the Glam and Glitz colours if I can. Just because me personally, I'm not very good at using them. So whilst all that was set in, I will go ahead and just cap the nail. So I'm taking crystal glass and capping the pinky, smoothing it out. And then I'm going to come in and do exactly the same on the glitter finger. And if you watched my previous video, video, you will see all the tips and hints and tricks that I've said about getting your crystal glass or your clear acrylic as clear as it is capable of being. I apply those rules every single time I cap anything. Moving on to the small line, I'll take my brand new file and just sharpen up those edges with them super, super flat. And then I will clean away any dust, you don't want any dust left on there. And then I'm going to come in with CJP Coconut Milk and just make that, that free edge, that French free edge. 
don't worry if you go over the smile line in fact the more you go over the better so that when you file it through it comes through nice and sharp and make sure you're building up the correct structure and strength with these colours as well because you won't be encapsulating this nail. If, however, one time you do do a knot polish or a French nail and you file away and it is way too thin, then you can just come in and obviously encapsulate it again. Um, it's no biggie, it's no right or wrong, but I just think you get a more sharper, clearer, cleaner look when it is pure acrylic, if that makes sense. So I filed, shaped, buffed, and I've cleaned away all of the dust, and I'm now coming in and top coating the nails, and this is all of our favourite bits. I love this bit. Just, it just makes your eyes go, oh, I love that nail. <laughs> so I'm going to top coat all of these nails, cure it in the lab for 60 seconds. When she comes out, I'll give it a minute to cool down, and then I will oil her up with sherbet lemon cuticle oil. That is also from CJP, and I'll leave all the links to everything that I use in the description box. Anyway, the top coat that I'm using today is the Gel Bottle Extreme Shine Top Coat. And yeah, so after that, that's the end of the video. I do show me oiling, and I show you the thumb because it was different. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all so much. And I will be announcing the giveaway winner um, either later on tonight or tomorrow because the gel orts have sent me a new pot of gel so we're going to open that together and see if it's any better than the last lot so keep your eyes peeled for that make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss that video i have a couple of exciting giveaways to coming up and i am going to show my face and show my hundred thousand subscriber plaque so i love you all and i'll see you soon bye